Let's go. We got a video. This video is about Festo Ionic B. We're going to check it out, see what they got planned for it, and then go from there like we always do. All right, let's lock in. Let's go. Nature is our inspiration. In the beginning, we have a simple sketch. We then develop and work on our ideas. Using the latest technologies, For example, additive prototyping. This helps us refine our projects more efficiently. Nature always evolves the lightest constructions. We do too. And step by step, we reach our goal of the optimum design. Nature always... Obviously, their bees are much larger than real light bees. I believe real light bees is about two to four milliliters, while their bees are about 22 centimeters is still incredibly small but it's just not as small as the big works efficiently and reliably we do too in nature balance is the key Nature always improves by learning from its mistakes. We do too. Nature incorporates many functionalities in a compact space. We do too. And in the end, everything fits together. And we are ready for takeoff. It definitely looks cool. We got more video to go, but it, it definitely looks cool. What I learned from doing some research is they wanted to build this bionic bee to be able to learn how bees fly, but also it's some spa stuff going on as well, where they are able to do some, you know, I guess, research with some you know because the bee is so small so they're going to be able to spy see what's going on i heard that they possibly may get some military contracts so yeah i mean it's a small bee so we can put two to two together Yeah, they also said that they want to do some rescue missions as well. If somebody's lost, they want to do some rescue missions. I didn't want to say all that and forget about that. Now, I always wondered, I always wondered, you know, are these technologies 
being placed in the U.S. where we don't know because it's so small that they can just be looking at us. Or maybe they're just looking at people of interest. But still, sometimes that goes, you know, in the back of my mind and think about that kind of thing when it comes down to it. Let me know in the comments if you guys feel that same way. If you feel like they're building this to be able to look for people. I mean, it's going to also have some other, you know, uses as well. But that that's always something that everybody always think about. Honestly, to create and develop something that small is really good. It's impressive. It's really, really, really small. So to be able to have it function, to be able to have it fly, um, just like a bee, it's impressive. It's definitely impressive. That's one thing we can say about it. What you guys think about it? What you think about the Bionic B? Do we need it or do we want it? Do you think they're like, all right, we got, we may possibly get some military contracts for it. So let's continue developing. But I mean, I think it's cool from new tech. And if you want to give your military a little bit more options to be able to spy on people or if you think about it like all right we can send this robot this robot b out to do some search and rescue that would be cool you got to watch out for the birds but i think that would be cool what you guys think about it i mean i think it's a nice little robot festo always been you know creating and developing different robotic animals so I mean, I always I already knew they was going to try to do some type of inset, but I think it's cool. All right, guys, until next time.